Hello, this is Imran from TheCodeDecode.com. Today we are going to see how we can SSH into EC2 instance created by Elastic Beanstalk. So let's see what Elastic Beanstalk instances do we have by going into Elastic Beanstalk. Okay, I have this test application. I would like to create the SSH account for this applications instance. Uh, let's find out what environments are there inside. Let's go to the configuration. Okay, uh, so let's find out what this test app is using for EC2 instance. Let's open the EC2 in new tab. So there are four running instances. I'm going to zoom in. So for test app, we can see there is a running instance. Right now, let's click on it to find out its IP address. Let's move this up if we can. Okay, let's zoom in again. Okay, here are the list of IP addresses that we can use. Uh, first of all, it's time to create uh, the private key so we can log in. Okay, let's do that first. Okay, to create the security key, we need to go back inside EC2. And we need to create key pair. Here is the key pair. Let's create new key pair. Imran new test key. Okay, copying the name. Create key pair. Download it. And now I should move this downloaded file to .ssh folder so I can easily access that when it is required. Move this file to dot ssh okay now cd into dot ssh and change the permissions of this file so it can be used as ssh key okay now we should be fine go back to our home directory minimize it now we have created the ssh key okay it's now time to move back to our elastic beanstalk service so we can attach this ssh key to get access to the system let's refresh this page security here, the, here is the new test key. I just need to apply. Confirm. Okay, the key is now applied. Now we need to go back to EC2 instance to find out the IP address. Using that, we can log in. Okay, this is shutting down because it has now rebuilt after generating attaching new key. So this is going to be our server that we can access to login. Remember to note one thing, uh, we cannot SSH into the instance until it is its status is up and running currently it is initializing so we cannot do anything we have to wait for it to complete okay our instance is now 
up and running i just verified by refreshing from here let's try to log in now let's copy the public ip address open the shell i am on the mac by the way and uh, let's try to ssh dot ssh has our key and now ec2 user at the rate ip address so ec2 user is by default user for ec2 instance enter uh oh it is complaining about something let's try to find out it is because i attached the previous key with this instance and it is now changed that's why we need to update the noun hosts for this is instance let's do that sudo vi ssh noun hosts not sudi but sudo what was the ip address okay it is this line here let's remove it by pressing double times d let's save it now we should be good to go yes So here we are, we are successfully logged in, cd, var, html, here is our Laravel project, so this is it. Maybe to test it, better to create some new file, vi public testinfo.php. PHP info W quit and force it. You can't open file for writing. Okay, let's quit it and open it via sudo. PHP php info okay done cd public mm -mm -mm. where that file have gone okay it is here we need to change its permission to web app sudo ch on web app and web app test info now we should be good to go to access this file let's try that okay what was the url to this instance this one what was the name of the file testinfo.php okay here you go so it is working okay uh, so better to remember a few things in next deployment your automatic deployment if you have configured that uh, this file will be removed so better to not trust the files that you create um, via ssh ssh you can use ssh for to find out what is going wrong inside the instance to debug the instance to see the logs and to perform some experiments that are going wrong directly on the server uh, as the elastic beanstalk can anytime terminate the instance and create the new one so your files will be uh, 
are not guaranteed to be present here and so you need to remember this thing okay if you like my video give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in some of my other video thank you bye bye